Welcome back. This lecture is about AWS regions, one of AWS's fundamental topics. What is an AWS region? AWS has the concept of a region, which is a physical location around the world where AWS has clusters of data centers. So basically, an AWS region is a physical location that has clusters of data centers. As you notice in this diagram, this AWS region has three clusters of data centers. One cluster is here, the second is here, and the third is here. These clusters of data centers are interconnected to one another. Let's go to the AWS Global Cloud Infrastructure web page to understand more about AWS regions and look at some examples. I'm on the AWS Global Infrastructure map. As you can notice on this map, the blue circles are AWS regions, and the red circles are coming soon. AWS maintains regions in multiple geographic locations, North America, South America, South Africa, Europe, the Middle East, and the Asia Pacific. As you can see, AWS has regions all over the world. As of this recording, AWS has 25 geographic regions and seven more regions in Australia, India, Indonesia, Israel, Spain, Switzerland, and the United Arab Emirates, UAE, are coming soon. Each AWS region is in a separate geographical region. For example, there are six regions in the US as of this recording. Two regions are on the East Coast, and two are on the West Coast. There are two government cloud regions. One is on the West Coast, and the other is on the East Coast. Each AWS region is completely independent, having its own internal private secured network and is isolated from the other AWS regions. However, availability zones in an AWS region are interconnected with one another with high bandwidth and low latency networks. Let's go through some AWS regions to see some other examples. In South America, AWS has a region in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Let's go to Australia. AWS has a region in Sydney. In South Africa, AWS has a region in Cape Town. Let's go to Europe. AWS has a region in London. It has a region in Frankfurt, Germany. It has a region in Paris, France, Milan, and Italy and Ireland. AWS has a region in Tokyo. In India, AWS has a region in Mumbai. And a region in Hyderabad is coming soon. Let's discuss the AWS region further. Every AWS region is assigned a name and a code. For example, the Northern Virginia AWS region has a region code of US East 1, and the Ohio AWS region has a region code of US East 2. Now let me log into my AWS account to look at some concrete examples of AWS regions. This is my AWS account. My default AWS region is US East Northern Virginia with region code US East 1. U.S. East has another region in Ohio, which has region code U.S. East 2. Your account determines the regions that are available to you. AWS will default assign you a region to your account, but you can change it. The question is, why would you need to change it? Well, AWS assigns a default region to your account. That way, it provides services to you from its nearest data centers. But sometimes, Say if you are looking for a new service and if the service is not available in your default region. In that case, you can switch to the region with the service you are looking for. For example, I can switch over to the U.S. East Ohio region if the service I'm looking for is in the Ohio region. Or I can switch to, for example, London if the service I'm looking for is not available in my default region but is available in the London AWS region. Here are some other important points about AWS regions. AWS services are region-specific. However, just to keep in mind, there are some services that do not support any region. For instance, AWS IAM is a global service that is not associated with any region. Let me go to the AWS Management Console so that you can see IAM is not assigned to a region. As you can see, this is the IAM dashboard. IAM is a global service. It is not assigned to any region. Since IAM is a global service, it is not assigned to any particular region. So IAM is a global service. Some regions have more services than others, for example. U.S. East Region, U.S. West Region, Singapore, Sydney, Tokyo, Frankfurt, and Ireland AWS regions 
offer more services than others. Now let's discuss how to decide which AWS region to choose. Following are the guidelines for choosing AWS regions to help ensure excellent performance and resilience. Location to get network latency. Find out what your most needed services are. Usually the new services start in a few main regions, such as regions in the U.S. East and U.S. West, before being available to other regions. Some regions will cost more than others, so use a built-in AWS calculator to do rough cost estimates to get an idea about your choices. SLAs usually vary by region, so be sure to know your needs and if they're being met. You may need to meet regulatory compliance such as GDPR by hosting your deployment in a specific region or region to be compliant.